are these old worn out looking sneakers really that good and are they really worth that much money that is what i'm going to answer for you guys today hi i'm billy welcome to my channel so today we are taking a look at my new golden goose uh, sneakers in the full glitter now on my channel i like to do designer reviews and unboxing of uh, jewelry, handbags and shoes. So if that's the sort of thing you enjoy watching on YouTube, I would love it if you would join my community and uh, subscribe to my channel. I do an upload every single week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also click that notification bell so that uh, YouTube will notify you every single time I do a new upload. How good is that? Anyway, let's get straight into the unboxing of these beauties. So these were actually delivered to me yesterday from Farfetch on a Sunday. Isn't that amazing? Uh, they came in a box. Inside a dust bag is the shoe box while well, falling on my head. Good impressive that the shoe box comes with its own dust bag. So this is what the box looks like. It kind of has like markings all over it it's kind of hard to see but you have to look really in the light to be able to see it inside the box is pretty funky it's got all this really cool writing on it so this is the dust bag that came with the shoes pretty funky hey Next up in the box, it comes with like a shoe passport. So I believe if you scan this, uh, you can link to your warranty or something. Inside the box, now they're not wrapped up uh, nicely, but I think that's kind of like the idea of Golden Goose that they're supposed to be like, you know, a bit, a bit like edgy. So these, are the ones that I purchased. They are the Superstar sneakers in the full glitter. Okay, let's take a really good close up of these shoes of all the different uh, aspects and points on them. So the idea is that the heel looks really scuffed. This is the way that it comes. It is designed to look like that. The front of the shoe also has quite a big scuff. I chose this particular pair so it wouldn't look as dirty as some of the other Golden Goose ones. Some of them are so dirty that like, they definitely look like such an old shoe. But I didn't want, you know, the really, really old sort of look. I just wanted them to be a little bit beaten up but still look pretty amazing. So there's a little bit of a scratch on the pink star. This part here is in suede. There's a little bit of like a scratch here. When I put them on, I do notice that this part sort of folds down and then easily folds back up. There is stitching here, so it's obviously designed to go on like that. There is three air holes that go all the way through, as you can see. It has the Golden Goose Deluxe brand uh, tag here. Not all of them do, but I liked the ones that do. Golden Goose shoelaces. More aeration holes. And then just the logo branding on the back. Now the underside has a lot of rubbery grip. So definitely no sliding in these shoes and the glitter does not look like it's gonna come off at all. It is really, really, really well stuck on there. I had uh, a bit of a concern that, you know, the glitter might fall off, but no, it's definitely stuck on there really, really well. So the inside of the shoe just says, go and go superstar. The tongue for dream use only, not designed for other activities. And then this sort of towel-like material runs all the way through the shoe. So that's it. 
that's all the close-up details of this particular uh, new season shoe. It comes in, you know, a variety of different configurations, colors, leathers, etc. So just this particular shoe is full glitter, but not all of them are. The really cool thing about this shoe is the inside is like a high heel. So given that this inner isn't flat, it really elongates your legs and gives you sort of the appearance of like longer legs but with a sneaker. When you're looking at them from the inside, you can't see it either. You can't see that wedge at all. And when you're wearing them, you can't even tell. You can't tell that this has a heel. Isn't that cool? So I'll show you the style code of these ones if you are interested in purchasing this particular pair. Now, the main thing I found really difficult about these shoes to try and work out was the sizing because I am a half size. I'm usually a seven and a half. So these particular shoes, Golden Ghost, do not come in half sizes. So I was like, do I size up? Do I size down? I read heaps of blogs. I watched heaps of YouTube videos and I just found it was pretty hard to figure out what size you are, honestly. So I decided to size up. So I purchased a size 38, which actually have been Perfect. I'm so stoked because I thought I'm definitely gonna have to probably send these back Return them and you know, they're not gonna fit so really really nice to know that uh, for me to size up slightly so being a 37 and a half uh, size 38 uh, Was perfect for me. I definitely recommend that you shop around when you are trying to buy some golden goose sneakers because the price can differ significantly between websites so I actually found these on Farfetch for 720 Australian dollars and this exact same shoe on My Teresa Australia was 900. Mm -hmm. So that's a really significant price uh, difference between two different websites. And then when I was able to add on the 10% discount code that I uh, got from Purse on Fleek, they came down, you know, significantly another $72 more than that. So Farfetch did charge me a $10 shipping fee, which is pretty reasonable and, you know, I'm happy to pay. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing and mini sort of first impressions of these shoes. I feel like I'm really impressed with them and I feel like I'm definitely going to be on the hunt now for like a more white sort of pair so that I have a bit of uh, contrast in my shoe collection for my sneakers. Thank you for watching. Have a great week. See ya.